Aloysius Hayes. And I'm Terence Wilka. Welcome to another episode of URTV. Where we share with you some of the many things that happened every week in our schools. For many years, Luther College have helped our select few of their students to travel to Alice Springs to explore our beautiful country and our rich, vibrant culture. Hi, my name is Josh. Um, I go to school at Luther College. I'm Julia. Luther College is located in the eastern suburbs of Melbourne. We are here at Yarrara College um, on our central trip for 2018 and we're very excited to be here. Our central trip um, has been running at Luther for about 15 years. It started with a gentleman um, who was a pastor called Pastor Beaumont, who was a chaplain at um, Luther. And prior to him being at Luther College, he was um, working at the Hermansburg community or Nandaria as the pastor. So we're Year 11 students from Luther College um, and we have come on this Central Australia trip together to learn more about Indigenous culture. So I'm Elise and I'm Sam. Back at home we attempted to learn about Indigenous culture and um, we thought that we had a pretty general understanding of it. Um, but now being here, like in the flesh and actually experiencing it. Um, it's just personally made me feel so many things that you can't feel when you're just learning in a classroom. You don't fully experience and understand the type of challenges that um, Indigenous Australians face. So this morning we had the privilege of interacting with an ex Urara student, um, Ruth Cook. Footprints coming from one place to another. She is a very talented artist and she talked to us about um, different indigenous symbols um, and taught us how to paint them. Um, I think it's safe to say we were not as good as her by a long shot, um, <laughs> but we gave it a good shot. Um, My name is Dalvina Thompson, I'm from Nokka community. Today we was doing painting and we meet, met the uh, Melbourne kids and we, we were, Miss Ruth Cook was showing us her um, art painting, Aboriginal painting. Come back in and you, you get a piece of paper each and you can start thinking of what you're going to do on your painting, like draw a little thing on your paper. And, and it was really hard. And the kids were asking me how I'm going and I said I'm fe I feel happy and safe here. Her um, album she showed us of all her artwork she'd done through her schooling at Urara it was really fascinating to see how her artwork has progressed through her storytelling and the stories she hears and so forth. And um, like Ruth Cook we heard a lot of inspirational speakers. We've talked to Lisa Hall, we've talked to Ian Conway, uh, we talked to Alex from the Uluru Cultural Centre and we've different, heard just different stories from different communities and it's just so fascinating to see how the differences between each community. Today the Melbourne kids was asking me how um, um, I liked playing sport with them and I said we like playing basketball, netball, soccer, for you and all that and they said they love um, all that sport too. So one of the things we learned about when we were at Uluru um, a couple of days ago um, was how the word for law, which I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly, is chukrupa, um, and how that basically relates to every other aspect and part of the Aboriginal culture. Um, and we learned about how deep that culture is seeded not only with the land but with its people and how rich in diversity it is. That was one of the things that really amazed me. And one of the things that has amazed me um, since we've been here is seeing how many kids come from such a far distance to make it just to school. These kids speak three or four different languages and then it's English where whereas these kids are having to do all their schoolwork in their third, fourth, fifth language which I find is quite amazing. It's so inspiring in a way to the fact that they have to deal with so many other cultural aspects before they even get to school 
um, and start the learning process. For us it's easy, we wake up, we go to school and we start our day. But for these guys, they're either boarding, they might be missing family, um, and it's just really impressive the fact that they have to translate everything they're learning into a language they understand and then reproduce that you know, in English and learn everything in a language that isn't their first language. For me, the experience of being able to see the personal stories that we've um, been fortunate enough to have shared with us um, is something that I'll take with me for the rest of my life. And, you know, we've sort of only started this process of going through and understanding this new diverse culture. And I think all of us have got so many more questions. We want to continue learning um, more about yeah. this Indigenous culture and as soon as we get home. Yeah, and we're inspired to learn more and answer those questions and ask the difficult questions. So I think it's been a really challenging but rewarding trip. So rewarding. Yeah. Experiencing them firsthand, um, it just makes you feel like actually feel so emotional and to see um, them all smile with completely different people that they've never met before was really just enjoyable for everyone. Everyone enjoyed it. Um, the 11 days that we're away in total um, and we have very long days starting early and packing lots into our day as we listen to speakers and challenge each other about the things that we're learning while we're up here in the Northern Territory. Um, upon coming to Urara College we were able to go and visit the Girls Academy um, which we found really cool. We got, got to hear a lot of the stories from the girls and how they've found that to be a massive benefit for them, all the uses they get out of the Girls Academy and it just seems like a really welcoming environment for them coming into a boarding school. I think that's really, really beneficial to what they would need without sisters or, or mothers around them. Girls and our mob learning a bit more about you, you're learning about us. That's reconciliation in action. It's not just words. That this demonstrates it. So something that we um, didn't get told about or didn't expect when coming up here um, is just how welcoming and generous and kind everyone is and we've honestly just felt so privileged to be able to come here and everyone has just been so welcoming and we're so thankful for that. The knowledge that we've had the ability to gain from this trip is outstanding and I think that'll stay with us forever and for when we go back to Melbourne and share that with all our family and friends and encourage them to come up and do the things that we've all done and experience the same things will just be amazing and I think not only we will be grateful for it but I think everyone will be. One of the most wonderful things for us as teachers is to see our students grow and change and challenge themselves and the central program is a program that is so authentic in allowing students to become different people. It's life changing, they talk about how um, they have changed throughout the time that they're with us. There's something very special about taking students outside the four walls of the classroom and taking them out into be with other people and to hear the stories of people and their lives. And it's through that engagement that students become different people. They take on different ideals, they understand different worldviews, and they are truly changed. It has been good to see our soccer teams continue to grow. Our students are improving their skills every week as we look forward to some upcoming matches with other local schools. <laughs> Margaret James, author of Annie and Books, she is spending a few weeks with us as she continued to build on her earlier visits.
I came um, last year and we talked to the students about what they'd like to be reading about and they shared some of their fabulous hunting stories with us. So we're going to be using those and I'll bring those back to show the students which of their stories we're using and um, involve them as much as possible. Our the next two weeks she is spending time with some of our students. And the kid, the kid get uh, going. Very good, that's great. As we re revise the stories we have helped write. You've done really well. You've done really well, girls. And, and re that's your TV for this week. Stay, Stay safe, use kind words, and, and look, look after, after each other. Bye! Bye.